Six miles, that's how far the Golden Gate Bridge sits from one of the most dangerous earthquake faults on the planet. And here's what nobody wants to tell you. Until recently, the bridge that defines San Francisco's skyline was a death trap waiting to happen. But right now, as you're watching this video, engineers are in the middle of the most expensive bridge retrofit in human history. Two billion dollars, 30 years of construction, and a race against time to earthquake-proof an icon before the big one hits. I'm about to show you why this project represents the most complex engineering challenge ever attempted on a suspension bridge, why it's costing more than some country's entire GDP, and why the decisions being made right now could determine whether San Francisco survives the next major earthquake. Because what they're building isn't just a bridge retrofit, it's a bet that human engineering can outsmart the San Andreas Fault. October 17th, 1989, 5.04 p.m. The Loma Prieta earthquake hits the Bay Area during rush hour. The Golden Gate Bridge survived, but barely. And what engineers discovered in the aftermath terrified them. The bridge was designed in the 1930s using earthquake standards that were laughably inadequate by modern understanding. The towers could topple, the roadway could collapse, the cables could snap under seismic forces that geologists now know are inevitable. But here's the part that really scared engineers. Computer models showed that in a major earthquake, the Golden Gate Bridge wouldn't just fail, it would fail catastrophically, potentially killing thousands of people and cutting off the primary evacuation route for Marin County. So in 1996, they started the most ambitious seismic retrofit ever attempted. And what they've discovered along the way has challenged everything engineers thought they knew about earthquake-proofing massive structures. Here's what makes retrofitting the Golden Gate Bridge so insanely difficult. You can't just add some steel bracing and call it earthquake-proof. Suspension bridges are held up by tension. Every cable, every beam, every connection is precisely balanced to support the structure's weight. Change one element and you risk destabilizing the entire system. But earthquakes don't just shake bridges, they twist them, bend them, and subject them to forces that act in multiple directions simultaneously. Engineers had to figure out how to add massive earthquake protection while maintaining the delicate balance that keeps the bridge standing. It's like performing heart surgery on a patient who's running a marathon. And the solution they came up with? It's absolutely brilliant and completely insane. Deep beneath the Golden Gate Bridge's towers, engineers are installing something that's never been attempted before. 40-foot tall steel plates that will anchor the entire structure to bedrock. These aren't just big pieces of metal. They're precision-engineered seismic isolators designed to absorb earthquake energy and prevent it from reaching the bridge deck. But installing them required excavating around the base of towers that are supporting a 746-foot tall structure carrying 120,000 vehicles per day. One mistake, and the entire bridge could collapse. The excavation alone cost $400 million and took five years. Workers had to dig through concrete that was poured in the 1930s, remove it without damaging the tower foundations, and install new earthquake protection while keeping traffic flowing. It's the most expensive foundation work ever performed on an existing structure, and it's just the beginning. Here's where the engineering gets really wild. Engineers are installing 38 specialized shock absorbers throughout the bridge, some weighing over 26,000 pounds each. These aren't car shock absorbers scaled up. They're fluid, viscous dampers designed specifically for the Golden Gate Bridge's unique structural characteristics. During an earthquake, these dampers will absorb seismic energy and prevent the bridge from shaking itself apart. But here's the crazy part. They have to be calibrated to work with the bridge's natural movement patterns. The Golden Gate Bridge is designed to move. In high winds, the center of the span can sway 27 feet side to side. The towers can flex several feet in any direction. The roadway can rise and fall with temperature changes. So the shock absorbers have to distinguish between normal movement and earthquake damage, absorbing dangerous forces while allowing safe movement. It's like teaching a machine to know the difference between dancing and having a seizure. Phase 3, B of the seismic retrofit, the final and most expensive phase, is scheduled to begin in January 2026. Budget, $1.8 billion. Timeline, 
10 years. And here's what has taxpayers and engineers equally nervous. This phase involves retrofitting the main suspension span and towers while keeping the bridge open to traffic. We're talking about installing steel lattice reinforcement under the roadway, strengthening the massive cables that hold up the bridge and adding seismic protection to towers that are 746 feet tall and carry enormous structural loads, all while 120,000 vehicles cross the bridge every day. The engineering challenges are unprecedented. The costs are astronomical. And if something goes wrong, the consequences could be catastrophic. Here's the uncomfortable truth about the Golden Gate Bridge retrofit. They don't have enough money to finish it. The total project cost has ballooned from initial estimates of $200 million to over $2 billion. Federal grants, state funding, and district reserves cover about half the cost. That leaves a funding gap of roughly one billion dollars. So how do you find a billion dollars to earthquake-proof a bridge? The Golden Gate Bridge District is considering everything from toll increases to bond measures to federal infrastructure funding. But here's what's really controversial. While they're spending billions on seismic upgrades, the Bridge District is also dealing with a suicide prevention net that's costing $400 million and running years behind schedule. Critics argue the money could be better spent on affordable housing, public transit, or other infrastructure projects. Supporters say you can't put a price on preventing catastrophic bridge failure. The final retrofit phase will require lane closures, weight restrictions, and construction activities that will disrupt one of the busiest bridges in America. Most work is scheduled for nighttime hours to minimize traffic impact, but some operations will require daytime closures. During a 10-year construction period, that adds up to thousands of hours of reduced capacity on a bridge that's already operating near its limits. The economic impact of construction delays could exceed the cost of the retrofit itself. Every hour of bridge closure affects thousands of commuters, delivery trucks, and emergency vehicles. And here's the part that really worries transportation planners. There's no good alternative route. If the Golden Gate Bridge is significantly restricted during construction, traffic will back up for miles in every direction. Here's something that's driving up costs and complicating construction. Earthquake engineering standards keep evolving as scientists learn more about seismic risks. The retrofit was originally designed to withstand earthquakes up to magnitude 8.3, the estimated size of the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. But recent geological research suggests even larger earthquakes are possible. So engineers have had to upgrade their upgrades, adding additional seismic protection beyond what was originally planned. Each design change requires new analysis, new materials, and new construction techniques. It's like trying to hit a moving target while riding a roller coaster. The science keeps advancing, but the bridge has to be built with today's knowledge while remaining flexible enough to accommodate tomorrow's discoveries. The retrofit is designed with a specific goal. After a major earthquake, the Golden Gate Bridge should reopen to emergency vehicles within 24 hours and to general traffic within 72 hours. That's an incredibly ambitious target for a structure that could experience forces equivalent to being hit by a Category 5 hurricane and a magnitude 8 earthquake simultaneously. But here's what engineers aren't saying publicly. Achieving that 72-hour reopening goal depends on having adequate inspection crews, repair materials, and construction equipment immediately available after a major disaster. In a post-earthquake scenario, those resources might be desperately needed elsewhere. The bridge might be structurally sound but still closed for days or weeks while engineers verify its safety. The Golden Gate Bridge retrofit has become a case study for seismic engineering projects worldwide. Engineers from Japan, New Zealand, Chile and other earthquake-prone countries are studying the techniques being developed in San Francisco. But it's also become a cautionary tale about the costs and complexity of retrofitting iconic infrastructure. Other cities with famous bridges and earthquake risks? Istanbul's Bosphorus Bridge, Tokyo's Rainbow Bridge, Los Angeles' Vincent Thomas Bridge are watching to see whether the Golden Gate approach is worth replicating or too expensive to justify. The success or failure of this project could influence seismic retrofit policies for major infrastructure worldwide. When the retrofit began in 1996, many of the technologies now being used didn't exist. Computer modeling was primitive. Materials science was less advanced. Construction techniques were more 
or limited. Today's engineers are using 3D modeling, advanced materials, and construction methods that allow them to work on the bridge while keeping it operational. But they're also discovering problems that weren't visible with 1990s technology. X-ray analysis of the original concrete revealed voids and weaknesses that weren't apparent during initial inspections. Advanced stress analysis showed load patterns that weren't understood when the retrofit was designed. Each new discovery requires design modifications that add time and cost to the project. Here's a complication that wasn't part of the original retrofit planning. Climate change is affecting the bridge in ways engineers didn't anticipate. Rising sea levels are increasing salt exposure, accelerating corrosion of steel components. Changing weather patterns are creating new wind and temperature stresses. More intense storms are subjecting the bridge to forces beyond original design parameters. The seismic retrofit is being modified to address these climate-related challenges, but it's adding complexity and cost to an already complicated project. Engineers are essentially future-proofing the bridge against multiple types of environmental threats simultaneously. Despite all the cost overruns, delays and complications, the Golden Gate Bridge retrofit is actually working. The portions completed so far have already made the bridge significantly safer. Computer models show that the bridge can now survive earthquakes that would have destroyed it before the retrofit began. The approach viaducts, anchorage housings and Fort Point Arch have all been successfully upgraded. The bridge has weathered several moderate earthquakes since retrofit work began, performing exactly as the new systems were designed. But the real test won't come until the next major earthquake. And that's when we'll find out whether this $2 billion investment was worth it. The Golden Gate Bridge seismic retrofit represents more than just earthquake protection. It's a statement about what societies are willing to invest in preserving their most important infrastructure. This project will determine whether the Golden Gate Bridge survives the next century of earthquakes, climate change and evolving transportation needs. It's an investment in San Francisco's future that will benefit people who haven't been born yet. But it's also a test of whether democratic societies can make long-term investments in infrastructure when the benefits won't be fully realized for decades. The bridge that emerges from this retrofit will be stronger, safer and more resilient than the original. It will be capable of surviving earthquakes that would level most other structures. Whether it's worth $2 billion depends on how you value an icon, a transportation lifeline and the lives of the people who depend on both. The Golden Gate Bridge has defined San Francisco's skyline for nearly a century. The seismic retrofit will determine whether it defines the city's skyline for the next century. And in a region where the next major earthquake isn't a question of if, but when, that might be the most important engineering project of our time. We are committed to releasing two videos a week. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more visionary builds.